Hello, I'm Kevin, and in this video, I am going to show you how to use a program called Barrier to share your computer's mouse and keyboard across multiple devices. In this case, I'm going to be sharing a keyboard and mouse from my Windows PC with a Mac Mini, which is sitting directly to the right of my Windows PC. So let's begin by getting Barrier off of GitHub. So go over to Barrier's page on GitHub, scroll down to this Find Releases for Windows and Mac OS. There are distro-specific packages if you're on Linux. And I'm just going to download the Barrier setup file here. Let's go ahead, run and install that just like we would any other piece of software by nexting through it, and we will launch Barrier. Okay, so thanks for installing Barrier. We're going to set this up in English. It's going to ask us if we want this to be the server or the client. In this case, my mouse and keyboard is attached to my Windows PC, which I'm currently using. So I want this to be the server. That's the one who has the mouse and keyboard we're using across all the other computers. So server, finish, and we do want to enable auto config and install Bonjour. So go ahead and install that. Next through it. And finally, go into barrier, change settings, and we are going to disable SSL. And now let's switch over to the client computer. All right, so same deal on the client, which in this case is going to be my Mac. Go over to Barrier's page on GitHub, download the DMG file, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to open that guy up. And we want to copy this or move this into our applications folder. So we have Barrier installed. Let's go ahead and run it. It's going to give us a warning saying that the developer cannot be verified. So we're just going to open up the general pane in the Mac settings here. And let's see. Let's close this for now. It's going to say Barrier was blocked. We're going to say open it anyway. And now we can go ahead and open that guy up. And finally, it's going to ask us to open our system preferences again, going to privacy, accessibility, and we want to unlock this guy. So type in your Mac password if you're on a Mac, enable barrier, and now we can close out of the settings. Then finally, we should be good to go ahead and start barrier. So now we have barrier running as a client in this case. Its name is given to us with the computer name. And again, I'm going to go into the barrier settings. And I'm going to disable that SSL. So I don't need security. I'm on a local network. I'm pretty sure I am going to be safe. So pay attention to this screen name here. Whatever your screen name is, is what we're going to use on our other computer. So let's go ahead and just start that guy and switch back over to our server. All right, back on the server here. I'm going to go to configure server. I'm going to drag the little monitor down into whatever position I want the client to be in. And in this case, my Mac mini is off to the right of my main computer. So I'm just going to put that over there. I'm going to double click that guy. And I'm going to type the screen name as it shows on the other computer. So Kevin's Mac Mini local. So exactly like it says it on the other computer. Hit OK. And I'm just going to reload this guy. And let's see if that is working. All right, so it's not working quite yet. There is one thing we should do on the client computer if that's not automatically working here. First is to hit the reload button on the client. Next is to pay attention to your server IP. So I'm going to manually put this IP address in on the client, and that should fix my issue. Back on the client here, I'm just going to stop it for a second, uncheck that auto config, 
And I'm going to type in the full IP address of my server computer, which is highlighted in bold. And I will just start that like so. Switch back over to my main server, and I should be able to move the mouse back and forth between the two now. Here I am back at my main computer on the left with Barrier running. And I can move my mouse back and forth between the two monitors. Anything I type on my keyboard from Windows, when the mouse is over here, will show up on the Mac. And I can basically use my one mouse and keyboard across two separate computers. It also supports clipboard sharing, which is very useful. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.